Hello everyone and welcome back. This is question 2 in 30 days 30 questions J advanced series. So let us see what is the question. The question is let f of x is equals to 3x minus 2 for x belonging to closed 0 say 1 closed and it is minus x square minus 2x for x belonging to closed minus 2 to 0 open. Now the question says that find number of solutions. Take it. How many number of solutions pata karne hai? Of the equation. Find the number of solutions of the equation. Of the equation. Fractional part of f of fx is equal to 1 by 2. So again, did you notice that I am taking the composition here? And not just composition. Composition ke saath fractional part bhi hai. And you want that fractional part to be equals to 1 by 2. Take it. Kaise handle kare? How to solve this question? To solve this question, sabse pehle question ko dhyan se read karte hai. And blindly, aisa nahi karna hai ki composition nikal ke nahi gaye hai. And then you are finding, trying to find its fractional part, equating it to half and trying to solve it. Aram se pehle question ek observe kare. What can be done here? That we will see. Take hai. Kya karna hai hai? Hume chahi hai fractional part of f of f of x. And that should be equals to 1 by 2. Fractional part of f of f of x should be equals to 1 by 2. Take care. What I am going to do is, first of all, I will trace this graph. 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 Because this graph is going to help us a lot. So, x axis we draw kiya, we y axis bhi draw kar liya hai. And now, first of all, the branch between minus 2 to 0 is a quadratic with the concavity downwards having the roots minus 2 and 0. Having the roots minus 2 and 0. Take it. Here are minus 2 and 0. Maximum value occurs at x equals to minus 1. So, when you evaluate it, you will find that it is turning out to be 1. Ye one jati hai. Ye 0, 1 point ho gaya. Ye one. Okay, after this what? Achha, ye open tha ki close. That also we will have to check. Minus 2 pe closed hai. 0 pe I think it is open. So, let us make the hollow circle here. So, I am making a hollow circle at this point. Next what? 0 to 1 ke liye we have seen that a linear branch diya hai. 3x minus 2 branch hai na? So, let us trace that 3x minus 2. So, when x is 0, the value will be minus 2. Value will be minus 2. Take care to a come cut there. Why x is to extend the curl with a half a minus 2 could trace curl in you. So let this be minus 2 over here. Take a minus 2 ke bath when x is 0. You can see the value is going to be minus 2. And when y is 0, x is 3 by 2. Kaha tak trace curl in 1 tak. So 1 tak yani ya ke pass ajayega 1. 1 per value is 1. This is what they have given. So, when y is 0, x is equal to 2 by 3. And 1 pay the value it takes is 1. So, I am going to join these two. They say join karenge zara. So, this is the graph that we are getting for the function. Closed at 0, closed at 1 as well. So, here is hollow. Hai, sorry, here is solid circle. Here is the solid. So, here is our graph for the function f of x. Take a f of x ka graph. Hai. Now, what I need to consider is f of fx. And its fractional part should be 1 by 2. For convenience, f of x ko I am just assuming capital X. Why I can take it as capital X? Just observe here that the function is defined from minus 2 to closed 1. Right? And f of x ka jo range hai na, that range is also from closed minus 2 to 1. So that means f of x is taking the values which are actually lying in the domain of the function f itself. That's why I'm assuming it to be capital X. And that is how my question will convert to fractional part of f of capital X. Keep in mind that we are solving it by assuming f x as capital X. So this is my first tip. I'm just assuming that f of capital X is equals to 1 by 2. I'll start with this one. I'll try to get the functional, I'll try to get the values of capital X first of all. With the help of that capital X, then I will try to get the answer for small x. Take 
अभी क्या करें फ्रॉम द ग्राफ इट सेल्फ आई विल ट्राई टू गेट फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स की वैल्यूज सो वी नो दैट एफ ऑफ एक्स का रेंज कितना आया है इट इज फ्रॉम माइनस टू टू वन क्लोज इफ इट इज फ्रॉम माइनस टू टू वन क्लोज मीन एफ ऑफ कैपिटल एक्स जो फ्रैक्शनल वैल्यूज ले सकता है ऑल दो फ्रैक्शनल वैल्यूज आर सबसे पहले सॉरी फ्रैक्शनल वैल्यूज तो वन बाय टू है बट वॉट आर द पॉसिबल वैल्यूज ऑफ एफ ऑफ कैपिटल एक्स सो दैट इट्स फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट विल बिकम वन बाय टू आर माइनस थ्री बाय टू माइनस वन बाय टू एंड वन बाय टू दैट्स इट फ्रॉम द रेंज ऑफ द फंक्शन जो हमने फंक्शन की रेंज देखी ना क्लोज माइनस टू से वन उससे हमने इंटरप्रिटेशन कर लिया कि कैपिटल एक्स जो हमारे पास फंक्शन है यानी एफ ऑफ कैपिटल एक्स का फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट अगर वन बाय टू आ रहा है तो इसका मतलब हमारे पास कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग कैपिटल एफ ऑफ एक्स की जो वैल्यूज है वो क्या क्या आ रही होंगी माइनस थ्री बाय टू माइनस वन बाय टू एंड वन बाय टू आई होप इट इज क्लियर बट वॉट देर सेंग इज एफ ऑफ कैपिटल एक्स इज माइनस थ्री बाय टू एफ ऑफ कैपिटल एक्स माइनस थ्री बाय टू ठीक है लेट एस ट्रेस इट दिस इज माइनस वन माइनस थ्री बाय टू माइनस वन बाय टू आई स्टार्ट इट ट्रेसिंग द लाइन्स थ्रू पैर लाइन्स थ्रू दीज पॉइंट ठीक है ये आपके पास एफ ऑफ एक्स की वैल्यूज है सो दैट इट्स फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट विल बिकम वन बाय टू जीरो नहीं लेना है वन बाय टू लेना है तो ये रहा नेक्स्ट पॉइंट ओके नाउ यू कैन सी दैट वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट कैपिटल एक्स वैल्यूज व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू हियर इज आई नीड टू फाइंड आउट कैपिटल एक्स फॉर विच द फंक्शन टेक्स दीज वैल्यूज तो फ्रॉम द ग्राफ एंड फ्रॉम द rule that they have provided us we will be able to get all these values like started with minus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 ke sath you will get the point of intersection with the linear branch what was the linear branch the linear branch is 3x minus 2 you just equate this 3x minus 2 to minus 3 by 2 and solve it for x you will solve for x and you will get x as 1 by 6 similarly for second point of intersection this point of intersection When f of x is minus one by two, what is the value of x? Again, the linear branch is there, so you equate it to minus one by two and solve it for x. So when you solve it for x, what you will be getting is two minus one by two is I think what we are getting three by two, so one by two. Now for f of x is equals to one by two, when the function takes the value one by two, what are the possible values of x? So I can see there are three values of x. Which I need to find out solving it with the quadratic and with the linear. So, पहले linear के साथ मैं solve कर लेती हूँ. What we want is three x minus two. We'll take the value plus one by two. When will it get this value? When you take x as five by six. And similarly, I'll be solving it with the quadratic also. What is the quadratic they have given? Minus x square minus two x is equals to one by two. On solving this equation, I'll get two answers. I'm just naming those answers as x1, x2. ठीक है इनका नाम हमने x1, x2 रख दिया है और एक चीज clear है from the graph. ये देखो, this line is actually y minus one, right? X equals to minus one है ना? तो अगर मैं x1 लिख रही हूँ इसे और इसे x2, तो x1 will be minus one minus alpha, then x2 will be minus one plus alpha. At the same distance, they are going to lie. Correct? So I'm just assuming x1, x2. x1 को मैं क्या ले रही हूँ? Minus one minus alpha. x2 will be minus one plus alpha. So I'm not writing the exact value, although we can calculate it. But if it is required, I'll come back to it. Meanwhile, these values are enough for me. So I'm just writing this one as five by six. Then we have minus one से थोड़ा छोटा, minus one से little बड़ा. मगर alpha की value भी one से छोटी ही है, as you can see from the graph. ठीक है ना अभी माइनस वन माइनस वन लिख दिया तो माइनस टू पे पहुंच जाओगे तो अल्फा इज लेस देन वन ठीक है अल्फा का जो क्वांटिटी है इट इज लेस देन वन अभी करना क्या है अभी आपको क्या करना है अभी आपने कैपिटल एक्स कैपिटल एक्स क्या था स्मॉल एफ एक्स था सो एक्चुअली यू स्टार्टेड सॉल्विंग अ क्वेश्चन इन स्टेप यू स्टार्टेड विद फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट ऑफ एफ ऑफ कैपिटल एक्स फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट ऑफ एफ ऑफ कैपिटल एक्स कैन बी हाफ अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वेश्चन इट हैज टू बी हाफ सो दैट मीन्स एफ ऑफ एक्स कैन टेक द फंक्शनल वैल्यू As minus three by two, minus one by two, minus and plus one by two. From here we calculated the corresponding capital X values. But what is capital X? Capital X is nothing but f of x. Now what you have to do is you just have to identify how many roots you are going to get for f x is equals to one by six, f x equals to one by two, five by six, and these two. 
So one by one, karke, I'm just going to the graph and trying to get the number of solution in each situation. Like first of all, one by six. When you take x is equals to one by six, so chale, ab hum lines banayenge for one by six. Ye hai graph f of x ka. X is equals to one by six ko trace karenge. Thik hai, trace karte hain. One by six ka matlab kya hua? This side. How many points of intersection you are getting? Three. Okay, so one by six ke corresponding three answers. Then I'm going to trace one by two. One by two. Thik hai, to one by two to isi se coincide kar jayega. How many solutions are you getting for 1 by 2? 3. So 3 answers when fx, f small x is equals to 1 by 2. Now you take fx is equals to 5 by 6, yani little less than 1. So this is 5 by 6. How many points of intersection? As you can see, again there are 3 points of intersection. So one more time I am getting 3 solution. Next, minus 1 plus alpha. Minus 1 plus alpha and minus 1 minus alpha. Both are going to be negative because alpha ka value 1 se chota hai. So minus 1 kaha par hai, ye humne minus half trace kiya tha. This is minus 3 by 2, to in between. So minus 1 plus alpha means little more than minus 1. It is little more than minus 1 and little less than minus 1. How many answers you are getting in both these lines? In both the situations, I am getting 1-1 one, one solution. Well, how many x are there which are actually going to satisfy this equation, total number of x satisfying this. So I can say 3 answers yaha se, 3 yaha se, 3 yaha se. And then 1, then 1. How many total? 9 plus 2 that is 11 values of x are there which are satisfying this equation. But satisfying this equation means satisfying this one. And satisfying this one means having the fractional part 1 by 2. Having the fractional part 1 by 2 means we are actually solving this equation. Hope you enjoyed the question. If you found it useful, then please give a thumbs up to the video. Do share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more such questions. Thank you all of you. See you in the next video with another question. Till then, take care and bye-bye.